Hi, my name is Steve Harbold with Brown Manufacturing. I'm here today to introduce our new dryer. Um, it's a combination dryer that is uh, UV LED on the front and a, uh, in combination with our Firefly system, which is our patented uh, thermal imaging detection system that modulates the heat uh, based on thermal imaging and um, IR activities. So to give you a brief uh, rundown of what you're looking at here, this is our LED unit called Vega. Uh, we recently released this. It is to cure uh, UV inks. Uh, in a lot of cases, we've been able to cure all UV inks and not be specific to an LED series ink, which is gaining a lot of advantages. Uh, behind it is our Firefly unit. Uh, this unit's been in the field for about two years. Um, the combination of the two lets you do a lot of unique things. Uh, in a case where you want to run UV first and then add a heat bump, or you can switch the belt the other direction and run a heat bump first and then run a UV. So the dryer has the ability to do several different concepts all in the same compact space. Uh, this unit right here can move six inches out of the way and let you use it like a standard IR dryer. Uh, now by standard we're still using thermal imaging technology that can switch from uh, solvent based inks to textile inks to uh, surface coatings to adhesives to wood uh, and then place the unit right back into the space allowing for the, the complete versatility. Uh, the system itself actually runs uh, several different control panels. What you're staring at now is the uh, LED UV control system. Uh, I can switch into a uh, Firefly control system. Uh, I can move into another mode which we call our algorithm mode if the metals or something is, is reacting in a weird direction and actually write programs to store them for specific items uh, that are very, very sensitive. Um, the system software allows you to scan where you can go from a global database, uh, scan a barcode, and it will remember the parameters that you set up or even create parameters based on rules all the way back from your global central. Uh, meaning that without the operator really knowing what's happening, the dryer is changing itself to the position that the, was intended for that product, that ink, that style. Uh, so it's kind of unique in that regard. Uh, this belt speed, uh, some of the, you know, the UV stats that we're looking for, a lot of these inks we're carrying between 60 and 120 feet per minute. Uh, when we add the heat bump to some of them, we're looking at uh, even faster speeds and just a more solid uh, bond to the product. Our Vega UV side has been tested and, and been out into a beta site for about six months. The results are very, very impressive. Uh, it's something that we're really proud of and we'll continue to push uh, and you'll see at future trade shows as we go forward. Uh, to go back into the Firefly unit, uh, this unit's been out in the field for about two years. Uh, the results are incredible. Uh, what we're doing is, is taking thermal imagers and photographing products, watching substrates, protecting them, and using the most amount of heat possible. Uh, it does a lot of very unique things. Some of the solvent-based uh, achievements we've been able to accomplish, uh, going in some cases, uh, extreme cases, from a 48-hour cure time to a 10-minute cure time, which is a pretty impressive feat in itself. So the two systems combined just makes the shop more versatile. It gives you the ability to use a, go from a textile press to a graphic press to a solvent press to a LED press all in one space. Uh, and it's typically about the, the Firefly side makes the dryer almost one third the size of competitive units uh, with incredible energy savings. Uh, when you look at this system in a whole right now, we're not running any products down it. Uh, so it's completely off, drawing zero energy. When we go and we actually run something, so as you can see, the entire system is off at this point. Uh, it's not running any power. It's just kind of sitting idle. Uh, so as soon as I'm ready, I can print a piece. I can tell the machine to begin its process, and I can set a piece on. In this particular case, the dryer is not concerned about its, its atmosphere, its surroundings. It's only worried about the temperature of that actual piece. So as it goes, in this case, we're not using the LED system. We're just going to use the heat side. It will tell the dryer to turn on, stay at idle pace. When that product actually enters the chamber, it will begin a thermal uh, imaging session three times a second. It's going to use the energy only necessary to bring this particular piece up to the degree asked for. Once it gets to that degree, it's able to start tapering back and protect that product so it does not uh, burn or, or change dimension or, or move in sizes. What that does to your power output, it looks like this. To dry that particular piece, we used about uh, somewhere an instant power of 30% uh, of or, or an average power of 3%.
of what the dryer actually has in it. Uh, in that particular case, you only pay for what you're drying. So if you're running small, light substrates all day, you're going to use uh, maybe 90% less energy than you're using currently. If the substrates get thicker, your energy value is going to go back up to match the output, giving you the most efficient machine uh, that the world's seen at this point. For a quick demonstration here, we're going to show you a product that is a kind of unique product in its right. It has a LED here that, using the ink you see here, that then we want to bake. So what we're going to do is we're first going to hit it with LEDs. Uh, the system is instant on, instant off, gives you that instant demand. Once it's been hit with the LEDs, it will then travel into the baking unit all in one line. Okay. We can now achieve uh, things that could not be achieved before using just standard LED or just using standard heat, and we'll get a much better bond. That should give you kind of a brief overview of some of the capabilities. Um, I'm excited for the opportunity to work with Mazdar in this aspect, as they will tell you some of the successes we've had. Uh, some are really bizarre, again, going from 48 hours to 10 minutes, or going from 4 hours to 1 minute. Uh, improving the concept, it's a pretty impressive start. So again, thanks for your time, and, and I look forward to working with the team in the future.